Let's talk about it, guys. Let's talk about this game, this Giants game coming up. As I drink my mate, green tea, beetroot, wheatgrass, uh, lemon, pineapple, mango drink here. It's pretty good, actually, though it doesn't sound like it. A lot of stuff going on it, though, as you know. Anyway, so here we go. Um, what I want to talk about. We got some bright spots, and we uh, we don't. We have a lot of dim dim spots. Let's just say, no, not bright spots, but we have bright spots, and we have some not so bright spots. Bright spot definitely seems to be Daniel Jones. I definitely will eat my crow on that one because I was not for that draft pick. But it worked. But it's, he's all right. <laughs> he's as good as we can expect him to be right now. Which, you know, if he's putting up numbers like this, being decent during his rookie year, he'll get better. He'll get better. Um... The D-line can create some pressure. The O-line's all right. <sighs> Where we're going to we're going to have problems with is this secondary. Everybody already knows it. Everybody already knows secondary is where you torch the G-men at. Um, I don't know what's going on back there. But I know that And tackling too, um, but secondary, specifically Jack Rabbit, it's getting burned back there. It's happening a lot. Like not a couple of games out of the season, but almost every game he's in, which is every game. He really only had a good game against Jacksonville and Washington. Um. And now Jackrabbit seems to be the weak spot. Uh, secondary. As a whole, but specifically him. Um, Kyler Murray's good, man. Matter of fact, I have him as my starter on my fantasy team. Um, Big Ben went down, so... So we, uh, I had to put Kyler Murray in. My own starter on my fantasy team is going against my team, and he's going to torch us, I think. I don't know if that's going to equate to a, to a victory or a loss, but he's going to torch us, man. And there's nothing really we can do about it. I mean, we can always double somebody up, but at the same time, that just means that if you double somebody up, somebody else is going to be open. So um, I think the keys here are stopping Kotler from running. You get just get pressure on him, dude. He's a little guy. If you uh, if you get pressure on him and make him have to run around a little bit, he can beat you. But it's a lot harder for him. Um, with that said. The secondary, you can't cover anybody. If you block our D line, at least somewhat decent, good, you got five or six seconds in the pocket to throw. Someone will get open against us. I hope not, but 
It's kind of the way it seems like it's going to go. Anyway, um, score prediction for this game is... Well, it depends on how we play, obviously. But... If I have to make a bet, not a bet, but if I have to give a score prediction, which I just said I was going to, so I have to. Thinking hard about this one. You know, hard about where I'm comfortable at with this team. I'm going to say. Twenty seventeen Giants. That's where we're gonna go. It's gonna be a twenty seventeen game. That's what I'm that's what I'm predicting. See what happens. Later.